This announcement is for any student who is interested in attending a job shadow opportunity related to one of the following careers. Manufacturing, police, firefighter, EMT, human services, which includes social work, early childhood edu education, psychology, as well as construction-related careers. The Lancaster Chamber of Commerce has set up job shadow panels for each of these career areas in the upcoming weeks. During these sessions, you will have an opportunity to interact with professionals in these fields and learn more about these careers, which they, which they may be more difficult to shadow due to confidentiality and safety concerns. If you are interested, you must complete a job shadow pre-excuse absence form as these shadow opportunities take place during the school day. The deadline to sign up in the counseling office is Thursday, February 23rd. If there are not enough interested students, these sessions will not run, so stop by now to sign up. If you have any questions, be sure to see your counselor. The effort of chess team lost a hard-fought match against McCaskey High School. Congratulations to Jordy Rios for his win on board one and Zeke Jones for his win on board four. Unfortunately, this loss ended the team's run in this year's playoffs. We look forward to the Swiss-style individual league tournament held at Lancaster Mennonite this Friday the 10th. Chess team members attending the end of the season tournament today at Lancaster Mennonite should RSVP to the School G group invite and report to room 107 at 2.40 p.m. today. Seniors, today is the last day to sign up for the Historical Society interviews. See Mrs. Fritz in 114 if you would like to participate and haven't signed up. Today is the final day to order your yearbook with personalization on the front cover. Order online at justinsyearbooks.com or see Mr. Bischoff or Mrs. Chinchak. Now over to Jory with lunch. Today for lunch we have General Tso's chicken with brown rice and a whole grain roll, crispy chicken tenders with dip also on a whole grain roll, fish and cheese also on a whole grain roll, Italian hoagie, chicken Caesar salad, french fries, stir fry veggies, fresh cauliflower with dip, mandarin oranges, and as always, fresh fruit or a slushy. Now over to Mrs. Fritz with sports. <laughs> We have no sports results today. The boys, ba the boys varsity basketball team will play Columbia at Conestoga Valley this evening at 6 p.m. in the preliminary round of the LL Championships. Ticket prices for students are $4 and adults are 6 The LL League spectator behavior policy is be loud, be proud, be positive. Shirts must be worn, spectator faces must be visible, no masks, handheld signage, and no continuous standing. Face paint is not acceptable. Only cheerleaders and uniforms are permitted on the gym floor before, during, and after the game. Starting Monday, February 13th, girls across winter warm-ups will be from 3.30 to 5 in the middle school's old gym. Practices will be held Monday through Thursday. Wow! Another fun fact about tennis. The game of tennis can be traced back to the 10th century where French monks would play the game in the courtyard of monasteries and not violate their vow of silence. Luckily for us, the long brown robes are not required uniform. If you want to wear a cool purple tennis shirt, sign up for the boys' tennis team. Spring sports sign-ups will continue until Thursday, February 16th. Spring athletic opportunities include boys and girls lacrosse, boys and girls track and field, basketball, softball, boys' tennis, and boys' volleyball. Students should not sign come to the athletics office during their class time. Today, swimming is off to the league meet. That's it for sports. Now back to the main desk. Thank you, Mrs. Fritz. Seniors, the top choice for the class of 2017 motto is we have followed, now we lead. Now that the motto has been selected, it's time for seniors who want to try out to be graduation speakers to write their speeches. Information on writing and submitting a graduation speech is on the senior page and in the office. Speech entries are due April 7th. Juniors, listen up. Mr. Kishpaw has an announcement just for you. Hello 11th graders, it's Mr. Kishpaw. I'm here to talk to you about an event that we're holding for you on February 16th. On that day, uh, we are going to have over 50 business professionals come in and talk to each and every one of you about um, finances and budgeting once you leave high school. This is going to be a great day. There's lots and lots of games and activities that make this a fun topic to talk about. Uh, I am particularly excited 
because I saw it happen already at a different school and kids were a buzz about it. The expectations for the day is that you're here and that you're respectful of those individuals um, that, are, that are volunteering their time and to have a good attitude about it all. So I look forward to the day and be on the lookout for some more information coming from uh, your homeroom teachers about the schedule for that day and grouping and uh, other different uh, procedures for that day. Have fun. This announcement is for any students who would like to learn more about the United States Naval Academy as a post-secondary college option. There will be a bus trip to visit the Academy, which is located in Annapolis, Maryland, on Saturday, March 25th. This purpose of this trip is to give interest students and their parents an opportunity to see the Academy firsthand, learn about the application appointment process, and meet with local area high school graduates who are presently midshipmen at the Academy. If you have any, an interest in serving your country as an officer, this is a great way to attend college for free, as a degree from the academies is estimated to be worth approximately 400000 for the four-year program. That's it for us today. Have a great day, Ephrata. Tell me another duck story. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum. A duck walked up to a corner store, and he said to the woman running the store, Hey, bum, 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 got any grapes? The woman said, No, it's a corner store. I mean, grapes aren't really what we're known for. We've got some grape drinks. The duck said, They kind of stink. Then he waddled away, waddle, waddle, till the very next day. Bum, 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 ba -dum. The duck walked up to the corner store And he said to the woman running the store Hey, bum bum bum, got any grapes? The woman said, oh, it's you again, duck I already told you, you're out of luck We've got some grape gum The duck said, I'll take none Then he waddled away, waddle waddle Then he waddled away, waddle waddle Then he waddled away, waddle waddle Till the very next day, bum 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 ba dum When the duck walked up to the corner store And he said to the woman running the store Hey, bum bum bum, got any grapes? The woman said, look, I'm trying not to shout But please either buy something or get out We don't sell fruit, the duck said I'm kinda cute Then he waddled away, waddle waddle Then he waddled away, waddle 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 Then he waddled away, waddle waddle Till the very next day, bum 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 ba dum. When the duck walked up to the corner store, and he said to the woman running the store, Hey, bum bum bum, got any grapes? The woman said, That's it. The next time you ask for grapes, I'm gonna tape you to the wall with this duct tape. Do I make myself clear? The duck said, Yes, dear. Then he waddled away, waddle waddle. Then he waddled away, waddle waddle waddle. Then he waddled away, waddle waddle, till the very next day. Bum 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 bum.